hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel it's been a long time we haven't interacted this is because i have been working on my explanation part of the videos these kind of backlash dresses are very trendy right now and are, are quite and they are quite expensive what if we can make it at home and in the easiest way possible i also find i also try to find shortcuts in making dresses and the patterns are very messy to work with so i made this dress out of t-shirt and it's really 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 easy to make any beginner can make this dress there is also one of my bad habit that I end up holding the fabrics. I buy a lot of fabrics and I end up making only two dresses out of that pile of uh, uh, fabric. I don't know why I do this. I have to. And let me know in the comment section below if you do also hold fabric like me. And I know someone is interested in making dresses and someone who loves the fabric, the texture of fabrics, they do the same thing. Everyone who makes dresses has a kind of favoritism towards a particular fabric. So I have favoritism towards patterned fabric. I don't know when I end up at the store. Uh, when I go to the store, I end. I always end up buying satin fabric. I don't know why. I just love satin fabric, and it makes every every of the design looks so amazing and looks expensive at the same time. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you how a statement jewelry changes the whole look of the dress so make sure you stick to the end if you like this video give this video a big fat thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for the latest updates so i was looking for the inspiration to make a dress and i saw this dress on pinterest it's a silk quilted tie back dress and omg it was for like three thousand bucks and if you're watching me for a long time, you might have noticed I love to simplify the dress looking process. You can make any dress using t-shirt as a guide for pattern making. So I did the same for this dress also. What a trouble we love What a trouble we love So I'm going to use this purple satin fabric as main fabric and this linen blend cotton fabric for lining purpose. Alternatively, you can also use taffeta fabric, quilted silk fabric. So to make this dress here I'm using this purple satin fabric, purple and this color represents the royal land and lavishness and it's gonna give our dress an expensive look without spending much on expensive fabrics and this is a key guide to someone who is new to sewing and who thinks that we have to spend a lot to make a dress look more expensive first step is to fold fold the lining fabric raise down your basic t-shirt and if it has sleeves like mine tuck it in and using some fabric chalk trace out the pattern once traced it's going to look like so Oh, no, I can't sing. Here from top, mark the length of your border part. Mine is 12.5 and I will mark that here. Normally, the t-shirts have a round neckline, so we are going to alter it. So to do that, mark 5 inches as the length for our neckline and mark 4 inches. This will be the width of the neckline. Once done, we'll cut out the pattern. Now, I'm going to keep the front panel aside and we will work on the back panel. Again, we need to alter the neckline of the back panel. So, we are going to make it more deep by adding 4 to 5 inches extra to the neckline of the back panel. Once done, we are going to cut it out. After that, divide the back panel into two equal parts. Now, cut the same, cut out the same pattern of the front as well as the back panel on the satin fabric also. 
method for making the tie back strap cut out a thin strip of fabric the dimensions are mentioned on the screen fold the fabric in half like so and then sew straight along the edges once done using a loop turner turn it to the right side and in the similar way make four two for each side for the back panel now place both the lining as well as the main fabric right side to right side pin also place the straps like so on both sides of the back panel and then sew here once done we will make small cuts on these two corners note that this step is very crucial for the finishing of the square neckline once done turn it to the right side now repeat the same process on the back panel also now for the skirt part of the dress we need to cut out rectangular strips of fabric the dimensions of fabric are mentioned on the screen placing the small strip of fabric right side to right side on the bottom bodice part evenly make pleats and print to secure the pleats in place the easier way would be to do basting stitch on the top part of the strip and then placing it on the bottom of the bodice part. Once done, sew here to connect it. Now to join the second tier, place the longer strip of fabric on the shorter strip of fabric. Evenly make pleats and once done, sew here to connect it. For the back part of the dress, we need not to connect the skirt part with the bodice part of the dress. Instead. Join the both tiers of the dress in the similar way we did for the front part and after that make casing for the elastic here on the top part of the dress and once then slip in the elastic and just to determine the length of elastic to be slipped in divide the waist measurement by 2 inches. Place both the front as well as the back panel right side to right side pin and sew here. Also sew the shoulder seam. Now comes the sleeves part. For that cut out two strips of fabric. The dimensions are mentioned on the screen. Placing a rectangular strip of fabric right side to right side with the bodice part. Make pleats on the curved armhole part pin to secure it in place and then sew here. Once the sleeves are connected, we will make casing on bottom part of both the sleeves. Once done, we will slip in the elastic and to determine the length of elastic, we will wrap it around our um, arm area where the sleeves end. The last step is to sew in the side seams and here we go. Well, as you can clearly see that when I paired this pearl choker with the dress, it's giving it more elegant and sophisticated look. When I pair the dress with this, with these uh, gold chains, it's completely changing the vibe of the dress. Now it's looking more classy and edgy, and it's perfect for a day out. So last but not least is this uh, diamond necklace and as we all know that diamond goes with everything so that is it for today guys i'll see you in the next video kisses until next time bye bye sweet angels